everyone, in today's video, I wanted to talk about a new aesthetic that's taking the internet by storm. You may have heard of it, and it's called Coastal Grandmother. Now, you don't have to be a certain age to pull off this look. You don't need grandchildren, but it's really about appreciating the simple things in life and indulging in taking it slow, taking long walks on the beach, and just embracing a very neutral palette. The color palette for this is definitely any ivories, creams, while well, you have khaki colored, maybe some periwinkle blues in there. How I like to think of this is the summer fashion for old money aesthetic. It's very high class, preppy, and void of designer logos as well. I'm sure you'd be able to create all these outfits just with everything you have in your closet. Let me know which outfit's your favorite and if you plan on trying this aesthetic out. For this first look, I kept with a very neutral palette. I went with the linen Oxford shirt as well as some high-waisted cream shorts. As with the aesthetic name, Coastal Grandmother, I wanted to keep this very nautical, so I paired it with my striped sweater over my shoulders. This look works equally well for old money, and I'll link my old money summer style lookbook here. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about this look that screams Hamptons. I can imagine seeing socialites spending spring and summer in their Hamptons escape wearing a very neutral palette such as this. The striped sweater was an added touch, but you can forego it as I did here. This outfit has the same base as the first look, however, instead of a striped sweater, I opted for a navy blue one. I can see myself wearing this on a summer day, walking on the sand, and just taking in all the sights. If you're looking for an alternative that revolves around a dress, this may be the option for you. Here, I paired a simple vertical blue and white striped dress with my white Oxford shirt, and then I paired my sweater on top. I've grown up alongside beach cities, and this is the exact outfit I would wear once the heat starts taking over. Now, as opposed to old money aesthetic, Coastal Grandmother allows for you to play with denim and jeans. These were the only pair of light wash denim I had, for Coastal Grandmother, you would typically opt for something that's not distressed and something that's a little more loose fitting. I still think these jeans work well for that casual, low-key, relaxed look. Something else I've seen in Coastal Grandmother lookbooks is an all-neutral palette. When it comes to Coastal Grandmothers, think of Diane Keaton or Martha Stewart. There's this one picture of Diane Keaton on a beach and she's wearing just creams. It really inspired this outfit. If you want to spice it up, you can do what I did here and add a sweater over your shoulders. This taps into more of the nautical theme, but I really believe it integrates well into Coastal Grandmother. Yes, color does matter. And yes, I do realize this features navy blue stripes, However, it's really laid back and fits into the coastal theme and aspect. I can see myself walking on the boardwalk, enjoying an ice cream in this look. Picking up on the denim look, I really kept it simple here. In my opinion, this is a truly classic outfit. Denim will never go out of style and paired with a white collar button up top, I mean, it's so classy, it's preppy, it fits into Coastal Grandmother as well as Old Money. This would be the key look when you're running errands. If you're looking for a more playful and girly alternative, try a collar baby doll dress. Now, I'm not sure this really falls into the Coastal Grandmother aesthetic, but the colors do align. I can see myself walking onto the beach with my bike and a basket full of goodies for breakfast in this look. This is also something I can see myself wearing either to the beach or someplace with a field of flowers. It's very lightweight and the materials along with the colors are very indicative of warmer weather. You can pair these with heels, sandals, or even sneakers. This is another denim outfit and it pairs the casual jeans with a fun, playful white top. You really can't go wrong with this color combination. 
and it's not only perfect for the beach, but to school or a casual day out. I can see myself wearing this outfit to the farmer's market along with a big sun hat. Summer wouldn't be complete if you didn't have at least one white dress. This simple white dress can be worn alone, however, I decided to pair a cashmere sweater over my shoulders. Having something over your shoulders really elevates the look and makes it more sophisticated. Out of all the looks here, which one was your favorite? Again, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.